The present problem simulates the effect of the oil tank detonation process in an urban area and the pollutant emission prediction. The present model is designed in three dimensions using design modeler software. Also, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Master CFD logo and subscribe. A standard K epsilon model has been used that is a two equation turbulence model that allow the determination of both a turbulent length and time scale by solving two separate transport equations. Uh, the standard K epsilon model is in ANSYS Fluent falls within this class of models and has become the workhorse of practical engineering flow calculations in the time since it was proposed. Uh, robustness, economy, and uh, reasonable accuracy for a wide range of turbulence flows explain its popularity in industrial flow and heat transfer simulations. Also, it is a semi-empirical model. The standard K epsilon model is a model based on model transport equations for the turbulent kinetic energy K and its dissipation rate epsilon. The model transport equation for K is derived from the exact equation, while the model transport equation for epsilon was obtained using um, physical reasoning in the uh, derivation of the K epsilon model, the assumption is that the flow is fully turbulent and the effect of uh, molecular viscosity are negligible. The standard K epsilon model is therefore valid only for fully turbulent flows. The diffusion energy source, if enabled, includes the effect of enthalpy transport due to species diffusion in the energy equation. There are two different zones of air and also fuel. The fuel zone is inside the oil tanks and the other domain belongs to the air. Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the re uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. And that's it. By changing this role, we can obtain our desired plane also, we can display all the pollutant two-dimensional contours of mass fraction. A summary of the defining steps of the problem and its solution is given in the following tables as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In fact, in areas where there are old reservoirs, one of the potential dangers is the explosion. The explosion of these oil tanks can lead to the release of many pollutants such as carbon dioxide into the environment. If there are residential areas and industrial units around the oil reservoirs in the mentioned area, 
a spread of these pollutants from the explosion and their transfer to the surrounding environment can be very dangerous and affect people's lives. In the present modeling, a sample urban area is defined as a computational area in which there are several oil reservoirs and around these oil reservoirs there are several residential areas and industrial units whereas large chemical reactions occur at the time of an explosion in which different gases species are involved the model of species transport has been used thus the number of gases a species model in this simulation is equal to seven which includes CO2, SO2, NO2, CO, H2O, C, and air. Therefore, in the whole computational area, air is present as the main fluid and, uh, and in the area related to the oil reservoirs, energy sources, and gases species caused by the explosion are identified. Uh, the purpose of this work is to investigate the transfer of these pollutants to the surrounding residential and industrial areas due to wind. In fact, the amount of wind speed and direction can affect how these pollutants are released in the urban area. In this model, the north and west of the urban area are defined as the inlet boundaries of airflow and the east and south are defined as the outlet boundaries. The open air flow enters the urban area with a temperature of 300 degrees of Kelvin and a speed equivalent to 20 meter per second. To benefit from master CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com.